Hello YouTube, um, hope you're all doing good. I'm sat in a different location today. I'm, that was further back than I thought. I'm in my bathroom because I thought I'd just mix it up a bit. And also today I will be talking you through some of my favorite sort of bathroomy, lifestyle-y products. So I thought this would be a nice, a good setting for it. Um, although I just realized that my first one is a diffuser which is in front of me, but I can't obviously actually plug it in because there's no plug in my bathroom. Normally it sits in my hallway, so I bought it in to show you. Um, so yeah, a big part of my job is obviously um, the sort of styling element of things, you know, the interior design after it's been completed. But behind that, I am really, it's a really important thing for me to make everything smell beautiful. Beautiful? smell beautiful and feel beautiful feel at home feel cozy i want it all to smell lovely i want it to be comfortable it's all that stuff behind the scenes like a candle lit in the corner and a beautiful little room spray popped on the end and that just kind of lifestyle thing behind a brand is what i absolutely love the most um so i thought i'd review with you not review just talk you through some of my favorite lifestyle-y bathroom-y products effectively because trust me I'm a rampant consumer and I've tried all of them I've tried everyone in the world so the stuff that I've kind of got with me here it's just down here is um kind of shortlisted nice Christmassy ones nice autumnal ones um you know quite high-end lovely luxurious products so I thought I'd show you these and um, as I say my first one is this diffuser it doesn't have to be this specific diffuser obviously um I'm going to link all these down below and put pictures somewhere of what they are and where you can get them from as well. Um, I just thought this one looked beautiful. I think it was from Amara, but anyway, I'll put it up. I can't remember. Um, this one looked beautiful and it really packs a punch. So a lot of the diffusers you put, like, you know, the lovely oils in and stuff. It doesn't seem to actually smell that much, whereas this one, it's like you walk into a room and you're like, wow, it just is, yeah, fills the room with beautiful, oily smoke and mist. It's a really, really lovely one. And these are good because obviously you just buy the essential oils from literally somewhere like Amazon. I get like ginger, patchouli, lavender, eucalyptus, and you can even, you know, do some fragrance combining, put them all in. And then, yeah, just it's a beautiful thing to fill your room with smell, um, which actually leads me on to my next point, which is candles. Because I have found, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I had COVID about five weeks ago now, and my sense of smell still hasn't properly came back. I can still literally be like... <laughs> I did lunch a minute ago and I think we had like a cheese board and I did like blue cheese and could barely smell the blue cheese and Stilton on my hands, although I'd just been handling it. So anyway, my sense of smell isn't great at the moment, but even before that, I just feel like you buy candles and you can't smell them. They're scented candles, you pay like quite a decent amount of money for them because it's called like, ooh, bergamot and nutmeg or something, and then you can't actually smell it. Um, so I have the ones around that actually smell beautiful. So this one in the background, do I risk picking it up even though it's full of hot wax? Okay, this is sand and fog. You really can't see. Simmering spices. Um, yeah, sand and fog, simmering spices. But sand and fog in general are one of the only companies I have found that are really reasonably priced and their candles actually really smell. And they smell really, really nice and they have every colour and every smell under the sun. Um, I get mine from the Magical Home Sense. Um, because then they're even cheaper and they've got loads and loads of variety and now literally I go in there I don't look at any other candles I just look for sand and fog because I know they're going to smell good as I say this one is stunning it's called simmering spices and it's just basically like Christmas and autumn in a smell I don't know what it's actually got in it but if I was to guess it would be like eucalyptus pine sage it's just just smells like a hug a Christmassy cozy cuddly hug in a candle so that's a really good one and next favorite ones in the whole world which you can see because they're a bit dogged now you need to smell it there's like that tiny bit in the bottom and you can just smell it straight away so these are from true grace um annoyingly they don't have any bigger ones because if they did i'd be buying one that was like the size of my head um this is rosemary and eucalyptus from true grace and my god it is the most beautiful smell in the world it's so fresh it's zingy but warm um, yeah, rosemary and eucalyptus, it is so nice, I can't stress to you. Um, and I've had, this is my third one I've had, I just keep like getting them replaced, they last a really long time, although, you know, they're not really that big. Um, and I also have the 
room spray to go with because I just spray my bed to death with that. It smells just stunning and fresh and clean and gorgeous and cozy and then light my little candle as well. So True Grace, Rosemary and Eucalyptus. Stunning. Highly, 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 highly recommend. Um, my next one is this beast. Oh my god. Okay. Zara Home. Stunningly beautiful candle. Um, the thing I love about these, what would be funny, is the size. Um, I'm not really grateful if I actually knew what this was officially called. Aromatic candle. Interesting. Is that the actual smell of it? I'm sure it isn't. Anyway, I'll put links below. But this is a nice, warm, sort of tobacco-y, oody, patchouli, woody kind of smell. And again, I just love the size of it. It's actually quite reasonably priced, bearing in mind how big it is. Um, I love the packaging. I just think they're gorgeous. They're a real investment. You know, you put that in the middle of your dining table and it's just like, kapow! It burns forever. It's really good. Um, the actual one I love most at Zara Home was they had, they didn't do it in a massive size, they did it in the size down, which was sort of like that. Green herbs. And I don't think they do it anymore. I'm really sad. I looked the other day and I think they discontinued it. They always discontinue the things that I love best. Um, but yeah, that was really nice. And that brings me on to more kind of bathy products, I think. Um, first of all, I've got, actually I've got a room spray to begin with. This is awesome. Um, I've had it forever, so zoom again, I'll put a link to it, but basically it's a ginger room spray and it just smells like ginger. So nice. So these ones are a bit, oh, so good. Just a bit different. Love the packaging. Um, you know, it just smells of ginger. I had one again from the same company and I'll put a link in that as well. And it was like tomato, it smelled like a greenhouse. Um, but they're so lovely and zingy and different and fresh and I love anything a bit different. I'm sorry, but you won't see me with the sort of vanilla Yankee candle. Just, I want something weird. I like something that smells a bit weird, but lovely. So that's that. One of the things that smell weird. We're now moving on to perfume. So one that I wear, to be honest, the perfume that I wear all of the time is Lime Basil Mandarin Jo Malone. I get it for every birthday, every Christmas and try and keep it topped up all year round because it's just, a classic, classic smell. My mum always used to wear it. I wear it all the time now, just love it. But recently, particularly in winter times, I've moved on to, it's called St. John's Cemetery by Haeckel's. Haeckel's are a fabulous company. Um, they're quite small still, they're growing rapidly. Um, and it's all natural, they you know, do a lot of stuff on the beach. In, I don't know where they're based. I'll put more information. I know loads about Haeckel's and it's all just left my brain, but they make a lot of like seaweed products and so they do like bladder whack and like really lovely organic natural stuff. And this is my favourite, it's their perfume. It's called St. John Cemetery. And honestly, once again, <coughs> couldn't even tell you what it smells like, which is really helpful. It's like heavy, but warm and oh, just, just get it. <laughs> Again, these aren't cheap because they're so unique and so beautiful, but honestly, they're, they're unisex as well. So my other half wears this all the time because it's just, it's quite a heavy, kind of slightly more masculine smell. But whenever I wear it, someone goes, oh my God, what perfume are you wearing? And I'm like, St. John Cemetery, I smell like a dead woman. Not that, but <laughs> it's a bit of a morbid name. Um, more perfume we have from Fern. Fern, F-F-E-R-N, Fern. And you probably can't even see these, but you get the gist. Um, they are fabulous in the fact that you basically can subscribe to them and they send you a new perfume. It's not every month, it's every kind of season. So I think they do spring, summer, autumn, winter. Um, and they just send you a smell and they are all, I'm gonna come out here stinking, aren't I? Cause I just can't resist. Oh, see, what one is this one? Organic Eau de Parfum, and Francis Robert. Okay, so this is just called Autumn 21 obviously because it's 2021 and it's the autumn time. Um, it just smells lovely. Oh, quite fresh, but anyway, they sell you, send you a different one and it's so lovely because I sort of forget that I'm subscribed to them. It isn't like too much, I paid it, paid it annually. Um, and then you just get a little box with a beautiful new perfume, like, hello, this is for you, let us know what you think. And I haven't had one yet that hasn't smelled absolutely gorgeous. Um, really nice size, really good for your handbag. Yeah, and just stunning. Fern, Fern, very good. Um, oh, 
goes without saying, but the basic one that I'm sure everyone knows about, but this works, deep sleep pillow spray. I normally have the bigger one, but I think I got this in like a pack for my birthday. So I had um, the bath salts, the bath salts. I don't even bother with bath salts that much, but oh my God, these ones, they're just like, the most potent, lavendery, calming smell ever. Um, so I got, a, I got a little pot of that that disappeared very quickly and a deep sleep pillow spray. Um, actually works it's that simple it's called it's by this works obviously and it actually works i my other half suffer, suffers with insomnia a bit and i know if literally if i spritz this all over our bed before he goes to sleep that he'll actually sleep so much better for me it's just like you get into bed and you feel like and it does just make you feel calm so and it just smells oh god that's very just lavender lavender kind of lemony beautiful freshness yeah, calming, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, where are we now? Okay, we're moving on to really bathy kind of product now. Um, again, kind of more basic. I'm sure everyone in the world uses it, heard of it. And if you don't use it, then you should. Ultra Bland, da 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 da, by Lush. Um, I've literally used it since I was maybe 16. I used to have really, really bad skin and like acne at one point, and this was the only thing that worked to clear it up. It's, it's just cause it's all natural. What's it actually even got in it? What's inside? Honey, it just literally says, rich and luxurious, honey feels heavenly, gentle on the skin and helps to cleanse, calm and soften without any tantrums, which is true. It is actually true. I don't have any breakups with this. It's literally got almond oil, rose water, beeswax, and that's pretty much it, and honey. It's all really natural stuff. Um, it's got a bit of grit in it as well, so it's kind of almost like you can just use this and I don't really bother exfoliating. I do it with a nice big sponge, um, so then it really gets into your little, your little pores. Um, but yeah, can't go wrong with Ultra Bad. It even smells beautiful. It just feels creamy and rosy and yeah. If you've got problem skin or you just want something really natural and organic, Ultra Bland. I'm sure, you know, a lot of people go to Lush and there's a reason for that. And they don't do animal testing, which is, you know, fabulous. Um, fine, well, final kind of skincare product. And we've just got a few bubble baths and then we're done. Um, Up Circle. So I got this, this was a brand that was kind of pushed quite heavily on Instagram. I kept getting loads of adverts from them and stuff and thought, okay, fine, I'll give it a bash. Um, I don't know whether it's actually possible for a face mask to work too well in the fact that it's called like fine with the fine powder of discarded olive stones to detoxify and fight blackheads, minimize pores and prevent breakouts. It so tackles blackheads to the extent that for the first like week that I used it, I literally, like all of my blackheads were so cleansed that I did actually start to get a few kind of spots, like where the blackheads, all the crap that was in my skin had kind of moved to the surface and pulled all the black out, black blackheads out from my pores. Um, which trust me, felt amazing and did make my skin feel really like soft. But in a way I was like, oh, I started using a face mask and it's actually kind of like bringing stuff to the surface. But now that I've been using it, I maybe put it on like once a week. Um, I have been for maybe, four months i don't get a single breakout and it does literally like seep into your skin and you leave it on there for like five minutes wash it off with warm water and it's literally has dragged all the crap out of your skin um it's just yeah really gentle really natural really easy oh i want to put it on now it's quite nice too kind of clay yeah up circle face mask. If you need a face mask, because I play about with face masks for so long, I got like Tommy Skin ones, I got Lush ones, um, I got all the ones that I recommended on Instagram, I got the pink clay ones and stuff. I didn't really rate any of them, to be honest, but this one, I won't diversify now. It's just leaves your skin feeling cleansed and fresh and doesn't cause any breakouts after you've been using it for a little while. So persevere with it, it's the way forward, I'm telling you. Um, finally, one that I wanna hype about today is Bathe as in B-A-V-E. Um, again, they're quite a new company. Recycled plastic, vegan friendly, no animal cruelty, natural oils. Boo, boo, boo. Sorry, that's my cat scratching at the door. Bear with. Oh. All right. Wanna come join the video? Yeah. Come on. So, bathe. They are just, yeah, lovely. Uh, again, bubble baths are actually bubbles. The amount of times I pour bubble bath in and A, it doesn't smell, or B, you don't get any bubbles. I can't have a bath without bubbles. I just hate it. It doesn't make me feel clean. It doesn't make me feel like luxurious. It doesn't make me feel relaxed. Whereas these, they go really, really lovely, bubbly, and actually smell gorgeous. Plus, um, 
I signed up for, what was it called? It was called like their, again, I'll put a link somewhere. Um, it was called their like ultimate box or something. And it was sort of, it wasn't that much money. And you got like <laughs> three bubble baths and two salts in it, bath salts in it. And they worked out like a tenner a uh, bubble bath, which they're a really decent size. And for some, a company so like luxurious and natural and that smells so gorgeous, I really didn't think that was bad. So you're kind of buying bulk, but I won't need any more bubble baths for the longest time. I'm, I'm stocked up. So that's pretty much it. Just my summary on all the products that I use on the daily. These are kind of, well, these are my autumn picks, I guess, um, and the stuff I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Um, so yeah, smells absolutely divine. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't, I can't lie. It's a big combination of smells and flavors, but it smells bloody lovely. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, something a bit different, but I want to do more lifestyle-y, you know, videos because I'm obsessed with everything from cushions to interior design to all the stuff behind the scenes so um and as I say I'm a rampant consumer so I've got plenty of stuff to to talk about and try and buy and stuff <laughs> so I hope you like this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week Mwah.